Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play to Xanadu! Last time, we got the ruby ring, restocked on some items, and we saved the elves by reviving all their fountains for them, and, well, thus, the wells there. Now, I don't know if the game actually tells you where you're supposed to go next, but I'm gonna tell you, so that way you know. So, we gotta go this way and put the ruby ring to use there. Ha! Gotcha. But anyway, if you go over here to the fountain, see this block up there? Push it to the left with the ruby ring. Hooray! We can progress beyond into the world tree, I think. At least I think this is inside the world tree. Whoa! What's going on in here? Kind of a trippy background we got going on here. Especially for an NES game. And the music's kind of creepy too. Kind of sounds like something from one of the Zelda Game Boy games. Can't quite put my finger on it. But anyway, see this dwarf guy here? He will hurt you a lot. So don't let him touch you. Fortunately, my longsword is bigger than his. And uh, with those flies there, uh, you can use your magic to take them out like I was doing before. Now you see there's a ladder in the upper right. If you want to take that path, you can get up to a tower, but it only has like two or three rooms in there, and the only thing you get out of it is a red potion. So I think that's totally not worth it. I bought an extra queen key just in case I changed my mind, but I didn't, so I wouldn't worry about it. Town of Maskin, huh? So that's what that stuff is around here, mist? Hmm, doesn't look like mist to me, but I'll take your word for it. Hmm. Well, you'd think they wouldn't get a lot of customers that way. Maybe the property taxes are good there. I don't know. But anyway, let's see. Wait for her to get out of the way. like radiation poisoning or something? Well, that would explain what happened to all the the wells and the fountains there. Hmm, I wonder why they did that. Well, we might learn a little more about that later. I think. I forget exactly what the NPCs say. But I wouldn't worry about it. But anyway, you got some spinach for me, Popeye? No? Just meat, huh? Okay. But yeah, I do want to rest up here because these enemies are going to hurt me a lot. They're hard! But anyway, uh, one thing I want to do, I want to sell the extra queen key that I had earlier because I'm not going to go into that little tower to the left there. I don't think it even has a name. It's just like an odd little tower with a, not, not even really a tower. It's just a couple rooms there. And let's see, let's equip a queen key now. And this way, we have a little more inventory space for some more red potions. Because I'm probably going to need one or two of them here. But let's see. We got a couple items you could buy here. A uh, large shield that reduces magic damage by 75%. So that's pretty nice. Uh, if, that is if you didn't have the magic shield already. But if you do, not worthwhile. Uh, the other item there, the uh, Thunder Spell, deals 50% more damage than the Deluge Spell, but it costs twice as much, so I don't think it's worthwhile. Maybe that's just me. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, there's also a Matok there, but I don't think we can do anything with it, can we? Not to my knowledge, anyway. I don't know why they sell it here. You can't go back to Apaloon to use the Matok there, so I don't know. I don't think that's mist. I think that's, like, ash. Volcanic ash or something. I don't know. Meditated? The Tower of Sufferer! Not the Tower of Suffering. The Tower of Suffer. Hmm. Oh, okay. I'll keep an eye out for that guy. But that's where we gotta go next. The Tower of Suffer. Well, you don't have to, but... I'm going to, because it's a sufficiently large dungeon. And there's an item in there that we can get. It's bugged, but I'll explain that when we get there. An hourglass, huh? 
yeah, that's just a random item that you can get from runes like the ointment and such. So I'm not gonna worry about that for now. There is one of them in the Tower of Suffer, though. Okay, kill all these little guys. And let's see, can I get over here? Whoa! Wow, that's one way of getting down there. Okay, watch out for these little floaty blue head guys. They'll, like, bump you into the dwarf, and then he'll hurt you a lot. But anyway, if you dropped down further to the right than I did, and you went on that upper path, you could climb that ladder in the upper right there to a, a shop that, ow, that sells the death spell uh, immensely cheaper than the one earlier in the game did, for some reason. Not that I'm going to buy it, because I think the deluge spell is still more uh, damage efficient per MP you spend. And this is gonna hurt. Ow. But I do want to get down here and see what's in here. Got a little shack here on the countryside, huh? No wonder they keep respawning. They got passwords just like I do. Oh. Hmm. Oh, well, no wonder. Phenomenal cosmic power! One of the dwarves have such an itty bitty leaving space. Okay, I'll check it out. Gotta find that guru guy. But, yeah. Oh, when you get out of that room there, make sure you hold to the right, so that way that dwarf doesn't hit you again. Nuts. Nuts! Ow! Might need that red potion soon. You know what? I'm gonna get it on standby, just in case. Okay, let's uh, be careful. Okay, phew! Not bad, not bad. Haha! Ooh, doing pretty good now. Careful. Just be careful with the jumps. There we go. And let that dwarf on the right there suicide himself. Thank you very much. Now, over here, we got three rooms. The two on the outside there. Okay, yeah. The two on the outside will just uh, lead you to rooms with my, fill, filled with monsters, so I wouldn't worry about that. The center room has the local guru, because the town of Mascon doesn't have one. So if you need to save, that's the place to do it at. So just make it over here. Okay, we're doing pretty good, actually. The Tower of Suffer, as indicated, being next to the guru, is here. Look at that. Recharge a little bit. Go off screen. Get back on screen there. Do that again, and we'll be in pretty good shape. And in order to get into the Tower of Suffer, you need to have a queen key. So, here we go. Let's check it out. Ow. 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 I would leave and recharge after that fiasco, but I don't have another queen key. Whoops. Oh, well. Because, yeah, just like all good JRPGs, once you use a key, it disappears for no apparent reason. Oh, well. But anyway, with this guy, since I don't want to get hit anymore, let him jump down here. Haha! -ha, gotcha. I love the longsword. Has so much good reach. I'm a big fan of melee, or long distance uh, melee weapons, like longswords, Donatello's bow, and Ninja Turtles, all that good stuff. I got this weird spider guy. You can only damage him with your weapon up top there, but magic can actually damage the legs there. But he has quite a bit of HP, and I don't want to spend all my magic on that. So we'll just take out the head there, and do it that way. That's the only way I know to get past him. Or the only efficient way, that is. Just stand still. Don't even charge towards him, because he'll run into you the instant you do that. So, do that. Get a whole bunch of money there from him. Why do these guys have so much money anyway? They must have a really good payroll. Better than ours. No wonder they're kicking our ass. But anyway. Yeah, this guy at least remotely looks like a dwarf. But we'll probably learn... I think we'll, we learn about, like, what's going on with the dwarves uh, in the near future, I think. Sooner or later, they'll tell us what the heck's going on here. For now, we just gotta kind of go with it. The dwarves look weird for some reason. 
And dash and jump. Okay, well, we're in pretty good shape here. Let's get up here and take on this guy. Ow. I'm probably going to need a red potion soon. Yeah, let's use the red potion now. I don't want to risk using my elixir. Ow. Ugh. Taking way too much damage here. I am not doing very good against this guy for some reason. I keep on screwing up. Oh, come on! One more hit. Oh, wow. Now, it's really boss time against the exact same guy that we fought just a minute ago. Yes! Got him! Woohoo! Okay, I'm probably going to need another red potion to get out of here. But anyway, this is the little meteorite piece that they were talking about. The problem is that it's bugged. Uh, it's called the pendant, by the way. But, yeah, it's bugged. From what I heard, it's supposed to increase your attack power. But, for whatever reason, it actually reduces your attack power. So, yeah, not really worth getting. But I figured, well, I'll at least show off the place. And uh, if you guys know anything more about how or why it works the way it does, let me know. I don't know. But, like I said, I'm not going to get it. I just thought I'd show it to you, and that's that. But can we find our way to the next town past the Tower of Suffer? Find out next time on Let's Play Fazanadu! This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!